So here we have a complex fraction, and they usually want us to simplify these. Now there's more than one method. I'm going to show the method, the least common denominator method. Um, I, that's my preferred method of doing these. So what I do is I look at all the denominators. So the little denominators, m, n, m squared, and n squared. And I come up with the LCD. Well, in this case, it's going to be m squared n squared, okay? So all of those have a factor of m or n or m squared or n squared, okay? So you're going to multiply the numerator by m squared n squared, and you're going to multiply the denominator by m squared n squared. So it's that rule that whatever you multiply in the numerator, you also multiply in the denominator. So that's what we're doing. Now we're going to distribute. So in the numerator, I'm going to have 9m squared over m plus 9n, oh, I forgot the n squared, sorry. 9m squared n squared over m plus 9m squared n squared over n. And then in the denominator, I'm also going to distribute. So I'm going to have m squared n squared over m squared, and then distributing here, minus m squared n squared over n squared. It's a tongue twister. OK, <laughs> so that's the hard part. Find the LCD, and then basically you're just multiplying every numerator by that LCD. Now, what happens that's exciting is all those little denominators are going to cancel now. So m goes into m squared, n goes into n squared, m squareds cancel there, and n squareds cancel there. So what do we have left? Well, hopefully you can see it. I have 9n squared plus 9m squared. That's the numerator. Oh, no, I don't have that. This is what I get for doing this late. OK, I have 9mn squared plus 9m squared n. <laughs> Okay, so you got to count the green part. I couldn't see the green part. That part and that part. Okay. Over, and then in the denominator, I have n squared minus m squared. Well, now at least it's just one rational expression. But you have to see if you can simplify this. Okay. So in the numerator, can I factor? And I can. I can take out a 9, an m, and an n. That would be the GCF for the numerator. And then what do I have left? An N plus an M. And then in the denominator, I try to factor that. That's the difference of squares. So it's going to be N plus M times N minus M. And now for an ex another exciting moment, we had to cancel the N plus M factor. And so my final answer is going to be, I'll write it over here, 9mn over n minus m. Now I was working on a problem the other day with a student and they wanted to cancel like, like here's my answer, that's the answer, but they wanted to cancel the ends. You can't cancel the ends because it's not multiplication in the denominator, it's subtraction. So n is not times something, it's n minus m. You have to have stuff times stuff in order to cancel. And um, we don't here, so, so we're done. Okay? All right.